Hi, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jacqueline Lopez and today I have a very fun DIY for you. Today we are going to be doing this spindle garland. Now I do want to remind you to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and do not forget to hit the notification bell so that you can be reminded every time I post a new video. Now the supplies you're going to be needing are your desired shape, size, and amount of wooden spindles. I got these from Hobby Lobby and you are going to need some jewelry um, screw eyes and some figure eight connectors. You can also use jump rings and then some jewelry pliers. Now I am setting up my work area by using this tray and opening up all of the spindles so that I can plan out my layout. That way I can see how much I have of everything. So based on what I have, I am going to be doing the pattern of two small, one large, two small, and then one of the chunky ones. And then now we're going to add the eye screws to each end of our wooden spindles using our pliers. Just like with anything you screw, you are going to need to make a little marker first. Um, so that'll make it easier for you to finish screwing it all the way in. And we're going to need to be doing it to both ends. Now, I want to show you here that once you go ahead and you put it in, make sure that they're both facing the same direction. As you can see here, they're not. So just finish screwing so that they both are the same. Now, depending on your strength and what works best for you, sometimes it works best to do uh, the first initial hole by hand, or you can just use the tool. Um, but the second part, you are going to want to use the tool. That way you're careful not to rip off the little head of the screw. And of course, you're gonna need to do it to all of them. Here they are completed. Now we are going to need to use our eight connectors to connect um, the spindles together to form our garland. And I'm going to try my best to try and explain how to do this. Basically, you're going to grab one of your eight connectors. This is kind of what it looks like. You're going to need to open it on both sides. Once you have both of them open, you are going to connect it to your spindle with the eyelet screw. And then once that's in, you're going to close it up. Make sure that it doesn't um, come out. And you're going to need to do this one at a time don't try and close both of them because the angles are just going to make it hard so connect your other spindle close that one up and then you have your little um, chain and that's how you're going to start you're going to repeat the process with all of them and let me tell you the angles on the second one do make it a little bit hard this is kind of time consuming because you have to open each eight connector twice so i'm going to continue doing some and just let you watch it if you have any questions let me know down below but before i do i do want to suggest to work in sections by connecting pieces that you know will go together it is easier to connect a couple of long pieces than a lot of little ones I really hope that helps, but um, some of these things seem easier to me because I do a lot of DIYs and I have done jewelry before. So if you have any questions on how to do this or anything, please leave me your questions down below. I would be more than happy to help you with anything. I really pride myself on reading all of my comments, so don't worry, I am going to get to you. And fair warning, this is not that easy to do the hardest part is getting the eyelet screws into the spindles and then this other part is just 
time consuming, but I personally think the payoff is great because I really love the end result and I know you will too. Now I do want to remind you, you can of course paint these. I just wanted the natural wood look. Now to finish them off, as you're seeing, I am going to be using a spindle with only one eyelet screw. You can always add ribbon or a tassel, but I wanted to end mine just simply with another small spindle. And here is the end result. I absolutely love it. I am obsessed with it. Again, keep in mind that this is a little bit hard at the beginning just because you are essentially putting a screw in wood and it's tiny. But again, I am obsessed with it. I think the end result is worth any trouble that I could have gone through. So I hope that you recreate it and that you love it as much as I did. If you do, make sure to tag me on your pictures on Instagram or Facebook. I also have my email down below if you don't have any of those socials i would really love to see and thank you so much for watching again subscribe to my channel if you haven't already don't forget to hit the notification bell thank you and have a good rest of your day bye bye